Hello, this is Tiki, and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. Today I'm building an open top basement apartment thing. Thing. Great. Um, and I just. So, I built like the basement. Like. Whatever it's called. Like. I built the basement plan. That's what it is called. And I realised I forgot to press record, so I'm just going halfway in and already done the plan. So, I've built the rooms already. Like, built the outlines and what, basically planned what basically I'm going to do. So, I've kind of jumped straight in, and so, yeah, so I'm doing the kitchen right now, and why do I keep saying and? That's annoying. So, I'm going in to build the kitchen, I'm putting a stove in, everything you need for a kitchen. I do an island counter, and I put some clutter around, because a, a Sims home, you can make it seem so immaculate that it never feels like it's lived in. So, you've, it's like... I try and make mine feel lived in and with lots of plants in, make it seem very green and nice and lived in. And then I put some bamboo canes in because I'm always a fan of the bamboo. And then I've like, I've I was like, I'm actually gonna pet bed, pet, put a pet bed there. And then decided against it, so I put pet bowls in there and a small pet bed. So because I kind of like the idea that the pet could like be behind the counters, so I went with that one. Because it didn't look right with the chairs all the way around the outside of the island. So I decided to do it like that. And then these lights I haven't actually ever used yet. So that was a good excuse for me to use them. And the entire basis of this is that it's underground. And it's not my... No, nothing's overground really. The, the garden's underground as well. So like the stairs go down into... A little tunneled out bit where there's a pool and a nice sun area for your sims just to go sun themselves makes any sense oh like tan and stuff outside in the summers without having to go up onto the surface so that was my idea i also have a birdhouse there because i really like the idea of like being eco-friendly i'm very eco-friendly generally and then yeah i'm just going th whenever i go through clutter items clutter items I go through them and then I get distracted by something and then I'll place it outside or go find another place to put it and then I just spend forever just going through the clutter items just trying to work out where I want to put everything because <laughs> I, I, I was trying to find that like the little shelf thing that came with cats and dogs I couldn't find it and but instead I found this and I preferred it so much more so I actually found a coat rack and stuff so I put that in there I said that was quite good. I was putting some potted plants in because it's always nice to have a few pot plants. And then also the, the tissues, box of tissues, because it makes it look feel like more like a home. And I do the walls in the living room grey because everything goes with grey. And then I take a detour off to the garden because I get distracted by everything. And I do a barbecue area, I do a sitting area underneath the stairs, and I do a pool area, as you can see there. I do like a sitting area around the pool, and do the pool, obviously. <laughs> um, I was going to put a diving board in there, then decided against it. I was having a look at all the clutter items for the pool, decided against all of them. And then I also changed one of those little bench things to that little sh chaise long. So yeah, now onto the living room. So the living room I found quite difficult because it's quite square and it was quite like doors going everywhere that you needed to get access to. So I find it quite difficult. I'm not very used to like, I'm not very used to having to fit things into a certain area because I like everything to be middle because I have OCD and that sort of thing. So I like everything to be middle. If it's not in the middle, it vexes me hard. It's, it's, it's annoying. And like the entire like, base of this basement build is it's going to be modern so it's like very modern and i've only just got fitness stuff so i was using a lot of that stuff in there as well so also i was putting paintings on the wall because it makes it seem more like it's lived in and like someone's sim has lived there instead of just me building it i also remember that i had forgotten to put a bathroom in there so that went in and yeah i actually went with 
grey because I actually kind of fancy. I actually really like the grey. I was ch checking out like corner bathtubs and a shower bath, but I decided it against it all. I decided to go for a slate bath that came with seasons. So then I found that there's miniature portraits and was testing them out. And then these were the one. These are the portrait paintings that came with the positivity challenge that I did ages ago. And then. I was going to put two on the wall by side against it, but one, this is the dining room. I found that table and then those chairs you have to unlock using a cheat, but I love them and I always use them. And I put them onto a get famous mat because you always underestimate that. I, well, I always underestimate that mat because like, it's so pretty, but no one ever uses it, I feel, because they, it's in a zebra print, that's its default swatch, so then it's like, that kind of looks ugly, but it's not. It looks it actually has some really good swatches. And then downstairs looks very crazy. It's got very crazy, like, shapes. Not very much, like, the top, which is very much square. Because I was like, I'm bored with squares. Let's do something that's crazy shaped. So, actually, before I do that, i got to do the hallway and the toddler room. I did make a toddler room. I made a twin toddler room. It's for girls because I obviously have... I'm a bit biased in that sense. But yeah, so I put plop, I put potted plants in and do the walls and make sure to put some baby photos in there, change around with the, basically play around with the colour swatches for everything. And then I do this area, which I think looks really cool, has loads of plants in there and a hedge row thing to basically block out the light because why not? And I think the plants make it look very much lived in. And I'm actually using this like, main one light for the entire thing, which is the one that came with fitness stuff. Then I really want to put a sauna in it, so I just put a sauna in. Not really much else to it, I just put, kind of put a sauna in. I kind of struggled with this one. Not the sauna, like, the downstairs I kind of struggled with the layout. I'm still not quite happy with it even now. And the sauna, I don't know, it's kind of added another touch to the downstairs. So the downstairs is more like... It's like an upside down house where all your like kitchens and living rooms and stuff are on the top and then your bedrooms and stuff on the bottom. So it's like it's like you're living in a hot country basically because they have their bedrooms downstairs. So yeah, and now I do a detour back up to the top bedroom because I realise I haven't done that yet. And this is actually a top bedroom so there's actually one bedroom on the top floor. Um, and that one's like the master bedroom. It's for the owners of the house. I put a mirror in there, a bed. It's very minimalistic in this one because I don't really know what to put in. I don't really know what to put in bedrooms. I kind of struggle with bedrooms a lot. Put a pet bed in because obviously we have the theme of the pets um, in the kitchen. So I carry that theme on and put a nice rug in because it's, it's nice and the rugs make it seem a lot better. Because when I was start, first started playing Sims, I never put rugs in my room and they always seemed a bit off and they were like a bit too cold. If 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 you ever play Sims, you know what I mean, because like your rooms seem a bit cold and by that I mean like empty-ish. Like there's a missing thing in there. It's generally just a rug. So I put, I put rugs in there now. It also adds a lot of colour to your otherwise barren room almost. So I add rugs in now and it makes everything seem a whole lot better and now I overuse rugs so I don't think you can ever overuse rugs though so I don't even know why I said that one. And you can see I just put rugs in because and like that room was looking a bit too f furniture is that word? Probably not. I'm gonna go with it anyway. Furniture and then you put the rug in and it makes it seem more tied together. That's what I'm on about. And then you can see it with that room as well. It ties it all together a bit more. And um, I do put home gym in and I work on doing... I like put workout machines in because that's what you put in a gym. Also, you can see through the... I put windows around the pool and I really struggled with working out if I wanted to use the spa day windows, which have a slight tint. If I wanted to use normal windows, I'd go back with the bar day windows though, I think. And then that was really struggle for me because I wanted to work out how to put the TV on a slight angle, but I said to put it face on. And I'm just doing the outside, doing a bit of terraforming, and by terraforming I just literally just mean placing these plants around the entire outside. 
and then doing a miniature fence around it and then putting a whatever that is an archway or an, a green archway around it and then it's kind of like I do also a little pathway towards the outside and then I change up the colours and that's pretty much it so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video so bye